Hi everyone, my name is Matt, also known as the UK Astronaut. And in this video today, I'm going to be talking about elements, uh, compounds, chemicals, chemical reactions. So, you probably remember from when you were at school, uh, or if you watched my previous video, uh, that you may have seen things called, uh, you remember things called elements. So, elements are single atoms, single types of atoms that are on their own. And they're things like oxygen, carbon, and plutonium, lead, iron. And you may also have heard of H2O, which is water, and carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Now, in this case, if we look at water, it's uh, H2, which is two hydrogen atoms, and then an O, so oxygen. So this is two types of atoms that have combined together. We have hydrogen and oxygen, which are bonded and stuck together. And we know that, well, you may know that hydrogen and oxygen normally in room temperature are gaseous, but when we make them combine them together, they become water, which is a liquid. So by combining them together, we give these two elements completely different properties. So this can, this can happen for a lot of elements, most elements, as they can combine together and they can combine with other atoms and form these new compounds, these new different types of material. But why do they want to do this? I mean, why doesn't hydrogen want to stay on its own and oxygen stay on its own? Why do they want to stick together and form H2O? Well, it's all to do with the atom. So, in the centre of the atom, you have the nucleus, which is made of protons and neutrons. And then around the outside, you have electrons that are spinning and whizzing all the way around. And these electrons have different energies and different distances from the centre of the atom, the nucleus. We have to try and think of them as being in something called shells. So, if you have a nice diagram of an atom, you have the nucleus at the centre, and you have uh, circles going all the way around the outside, they get bigger and bigger. And these represent the, the shells. And the shells always fill up with electrons from the in, from the, the most inner circle, and then they fill up outwards. And each shell could hold a certain number of electrons, and atoms want to have a full outer shell of electrons. So if their outer shell can hold six electrons, they really want six electrons in there. And they're really desperate for it. So how do they do this? Well, what they can do is they can share electrons with other atoms that also don't have full outer shells. So let's take the example of water, so H2O. So in an oxygen atom, it has two empty slots in its outer shell for electrons. So it wants two more electrons in its outer shell. So basically it just wants two more electrons. And then it'd be nice and happy. And in hydrogen, it has one electron missing in its outer shell, so it just wants one more electron, and then it will be nice and happy and it can carry on and go about its nice day. So, as oxygen needs two and hydrogen needs one, what happens is two hydrogen atoms attach onto an oxygen, and they go, right, well, let's share all our electrons. So hydrogen share a couple of the electrons with the oxygen, and they fill their outer shell. The oxygen takes both the atoms from the hydrogen and it shares those two electrons and it's filled its outer shell. So you have these three atoms, all happy, all have full number of electrons, and this is what chemical bonding is. So chemical bonding is, uh, well, one of the types of chemical bonding is the sharing of electrons so that they all have full outer shells. And then they're nice and happy, they don't react with anything else then afterwards, really. They don't need to, in a sense, because they've got their full outer shell. So this is just what, as I said, chemical bonding is. And this is how we have compounds. We don't have individual atoms. We can have H2O and CO2 and other types of compounds like this. So I, I hope this made sense. Uh, if it doesn't, leave any questions uh, or comments. Um, don't forget also to like, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at UK Astronaut. Uh, uh, but thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.